Good morning to all my brothers and sisters this day. Today is Thursday the 25th of June. Good morning to you all. Another very hot day and here we are again at nine o'clock in the morning and how good it is to be able to spend this time in prayer and offer the day to God to read the scriptures, to ponder on those and of course to pray for the needs of the world and uh, welcome of course to anyone who is joining in their own homes whether you are live uh, with us at the moment or part of the service a little later on in the day. So uh, the first uh, name popping up today, good morning to Elizabeth and uh, let's light our candle as we offer this day to God and open our hearts to him. Uh, good morning to Mike Buick and to Venetia. O oh God, creator of light, at the rising of your sun this morning, late the greatest of all lights, your love, rise like the sun within our hearts. Amen. Good morning and welcome to Sue and to Helen and Neil. So let's start our morning prayer service. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. rejoice in the gift of this new day so may the light of your presence O God set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever amen Psalm 57 is our psalm for the week and we will say this together now particularly if you've got the version in front of you that we use then do join in as we say it together Psalm 57 be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for my soul takes refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge, until the storm of destruction has passed by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who fulfills his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me, and rebuke those that would trample upon me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions, people whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. They have laid a net for my feet. My soul is pressed down. They have dug a pit before me, and will fall into it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing and give you praise. Awake, my soul, awake, harp and lyre, that I may awaken the dawn. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is as high as the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So as we continue reading from Luke's Gospel and chapter 14 this 
today, um, beginning at verse 1, chapter 14, verse 1. On one occasion, when Jesus was going to the house of a leader of the Pharisees to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. Just then, in front of him, there was a man who had dropsy. And Jesus asked the lawyers and the Pharisees, Is it lawful to cure people on the Sabbath or not? But they were silent. So Jesus took him and healed him and sent him away. Then he said to them, If one of you has a child or an ox that has fallen into a well, will you not immediately pull it out on a Sabbath day? They could not reply to this. When he noticed how the guests chose the places of honour, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honour, in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host, and the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, Give this person your place. And then in disgrace you would start to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place, so that when your host comes he may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honoured in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So let us pray for God's church, for his world, for the people we know and love, those who are in need. And on this, the 70th anniversary of the war in Korea, we, beginning of that, we pray for those peoples still divided, the tensions that exist between the two countries of North and South Korea, and the peacekeeping forces deployed there. particularly for the people of North Korea suffering under that cruel regime that they may know freedom and justice and we pray for the people of Central and South America and the USA as the, the virus continues to rise there and more people die. We pray for those in the Americas involved in working hard to keep people safe and to care for those who are sick. We pray that leaders may take wise decisions do all that they can to serve the people. We pray too for the people of Israel and Palestine at another difficult time in that part of the world. As Israel seeks to Extend jurisdiction. So many tensions. And so many injustices felt on both sides. We pray, Lord, that you will raise up men and women and children of peace who will reach out to one another. Pray that Israeli and Palestinian and Jew and Christian and Muslim together in the Holy Land may be able to flourish, respect each other, love each other. Lord, we pray for children and young people 
particularly those who are still not able to go to school, those who miss their friends, those who are falling behind in so many ways. We thank you for charities such as Save the Children and Children's Society, others that seek to look out for those children who are falling behind or lost or caring for adults. Pray that those children may know your love and care. Pray for the teachers and staff in our local schools. Particularly for David Wiltshire as he prepares to take on his role of head of Kings of Wessex next term. Such a difficult time to be taking over. We pray too, Lord, today for Sam Healy and others preparing to be licensed as curates. Pray that Sam may find hope and hospitality in our midst and enrich us through his ministry. Pray for the sick and for the bereaved and dying. We pray in particularly, particular for the Gregory family today as they prepare for Norman's funeral in a little while. Margaret and Richard and Alistair especially. We pray, Lord, for people of our own churches and today for people of Christ Church Steel and especially for Sue and Peter Gudgeon, Angie and Tony Harris and Amy and family, Ted and Mary Hatch, Jane, Nikki, Megan and William Hatch, Yvonne Hutchison, Ray and Violet Millard, Dale and Andrew Millard and family. And for the people of Allerton, we pray, Lord, today for Anne Duckett, Kate, Tom, Emily, Tom and family, the Fielders, Luke and Sarah Fielder and family, for Sarah and Tim Fisher and family, for Sheila Ford, for Angie and John Horn, for Doris Langdon, for Martin and Amanda Lucas and family. And so let's keep some time of quiet now, beginning of this day to offer it to God and to open our hearts to him and pray for those who are particularly on our hearts at this time. Is the collect for this week. Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are nothing worth. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake 
who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And together we pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and the fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, so we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us, and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, what a lovely warm day today and I hope uh, folk can enjoy that and uh, it's my sister Alison's birthday today so it would be very good to be able to go and see her and her family a little later and uh, keeping our distance of course and uh, I hope that uh, you all have good days as well and of course we'll meet tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for our time of daily prayer and as ever, in the meantime, everyone, take care and God bless.